Folks, how are you doing on the bench today? I have yet another Amiga 500 uh, motherboard. Um, this is a Ref6 uh, 6A uh, version of the motherboard. And again, that was sent to me. I can see already we're missing uh, Agnes. That's not a worry. I have a spare one, I think, somewhere. And uh, <laughs> it was described, obviously, as non-working. And I also see, I mean... What is it with people and, 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 and icy legs? Just putting them back in place and bending them all over the place. So we'd have to have a look at this. In fact, I want to have a look at all these ICs. I, I can see some traces of shenanigans going on here. Um, this looks okay. Something interesting, the legs of, of let me just uh, zoom back, the legs of this guy, and these guys are super shiny. But these look very, very matte. It probably doesn't translate on the camera, but there is actually, yeah, you can see it. A slight difference in the, the shine of the legs on this and this. And I wonder, because I can see some hackery going on here, uh, were these added from another board? Um, I don't know. Need to double check that these are indeed as well. Uh, the right IC is in the right place. Um, and, oh my God. I mean, well, let's let's talk about this uh, again. Uh, just uh, legs all over the place, but also this is facing the wrong way. All right, you want to do it? This video is sponsored. <laughs> That's not what well, this video is sponsored by. P yeah, PCB way. This video is sponsored by PCB way. Yeah. They offer PCB manufacturing along with part assembly. Yeah. But they also offer a number of fantastic services like CNC, metal sheet fabrication, 3D printing, and even injection molding, turning it into a one-stop shop for all your projects. Yeah, you did very well. So go to PCBWay.com, upload your project files, and get an instant quote. And thank you to them for sponsoring. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Why are you PCBWay. This, this is just savagery. Look at this. Um, okay, gonna do my best to, uh, to, yeah, I mean, they could easily snap trying to strengthen them. This is what happens. Somebody just try to pull them, like, from one side, and, uh, and, and, and this happened. It wasn't me. But, um, regardless, this IC should be facing the other way anyway. Uh, I'm gonna take this out as well and just check that there's no, uh, damage on this guy either. In fact, let's just check everything here. Yeah, that leg uh, just wasn't connected. Other than that, I think we've uh, we've everything on this guy. <laughs> what do I see here? What do I see here? Uh, some uh, some charred. Uh, are they are they are they gone? Are they are they past? No, they might be okay. It might just be a bit of heat. Um, I'm just gonna check continue uh, um, for the the value on the, on these. And uh, and see if they're okay. They might actually be okay. I mean, that's not unusual to uh, to to see, kind of, especially with monitors. I deal with monitors a lot, and uh, and you know, very often you you find uh, resistors that have heated up slightly because of one reason or another. But usually, time just over time uh, or misconnecting something there. It, it's near that uh, is it the serial part. Yeah. So it might be somebody just plugged in something they shouldn't have in the serial port and uh, probably created uh, some heat. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I have uh, Gary, uh, sorry, Denise out, and yeah, she's uh, she's got all her legs. Good girl, Denise. Ladies first, I suppose. So uh, Paula is all there as well. Lovely legs. Good girl, Paula. There is Gary. Uh, Gary's all there. Good man, the gas. Okay, so we've got the, the board plugged in. Uh, just power and uh, audio and video for now. I just want to see if this even boots um, first before we even run a diagram on this. So the, the good thing here is this Ref6 actually should be able to run an EEPROM uh, with the diagram right, uh, right away. Um, it doesn't need any modification or anything like that, like the Rev5 does. So I should be able to replace this with a, a diagram. But first, let's just see. 
Let's just see what we got. Oh, white screen. <laughs> That's usually a good sign. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, bo oh, yes. Yes. We've got at least, at least a, a functional uh, board. Well, you know, a functional board. Uh, that's got the essentials just to uh, to boot to uh, the workbench uh, screen, the uh, Kickstarter screen. So I'm going to plop in a diagram here and and see what else we have running. I suppose I could I could plug in uh, already. I could plug in a a GoTech and just see if we have uh, a GoTech running. If we can run a, even just that. Go take it. Go take in. I mean, you can probably hear it. We've got sound. Uh, so we've got sound. I mean, Spada is working. Uh, Denise is working. Um, Gary's most likely working fine too, because that's uh, a glue logic for pretty much everything. Agnes is working. Uh, the the sixty eight thousand is working. Obviously, the uh, uh, rum is working and. Uh, the CIA appear to be working, mostly, uh, at least for uh, this purpose. So, okay, let's uh, let's just double check. This might be just a very very quick fix. Um, you know, just uh, legs gone or not connected on the uh, sixty eight thousand, and and the uh, the ROM was just facing the wrong way. My God. All right, so I got the uh, diagram in. I got a floppy or a GoTech drive uh, plugged in. I got a mouse plugged in, a keyboard, and uh, I was able to serial into. Uh, actually, let's just uh, show you just to show you it's working. Uh, serial is working, uh, but it doesn't matter because we got the uh, video here. So I'm gonna want to do a few tests, like tested waveform. We actually know that the. Uh, we know that the uh, the sound is working because we uh, were able to uh... <laughs> uh so that doesn't really matter too much we know the uh, uh graphics is working indeed uh i'm just going to do a few well we can have a look at the system info uh yeah nothing failing perfect uh, we can do a few memory tests which um I'm just gonna do, um, let it run for a while and then come back and then we're gonna go into the GoTech and run the uh, Amiga test uh, kit. All right, I think uh, six, seven passes is uh, enough for this uh, video, so let's move on to a few other tests and I'll run the Amiga test kit. Checking the CIAs. Okay, CIAs are fine. Graphics and yeah, we know we know our RGB and uh, all that kind of stuff is working anyway. Um, is there a test picture? Yeah. Uh, poor test. Uh, I don't have loopback adapters for for these. Uh, I might get some down the line. I know serial por uh, works. Uh, I can test parallel actually by plugging a. Uh, I have a spare one of these, one of these guys, and I'll do that later. Actually, I'll I'll test uh, parallel uh, with this, and you plug a, a floppy drive or a GoTech in this. So that's the way I'm gonna do it for now. I don't have a loopback adapter, a joystick mouse. Well, obviously, a uh, uh, mouse is working. Okay, let's uh, let's run Amiga test kit. And these are going to be similar uh, tests. Actually, keyboard is the one I wanted to just to make sure that we have all our keys are working. Boop. Yeah, keyboard is all working. Uh, control, you know, main menu, we can do that. Floppy drive, uh, we can do some floppy test, uh, DF. Signal test. I mean, we know the floppy drive is working. We just booted from where we know the floppy interface is working. We booted from this guy. 
Anyway, this is all going to be the same type of tests um, that you've seen already. CIA, real-time battery, serial parallel. You need a yeah. You need loop back for these, which I don't have. But I think at this stage we we're pretty happy this is working. The last thing I'm going to do is probably just run a memory a soak test on memory. Um, and let it run for maybe an hour or so uh, just to make sure that this is indeed working but it looks like all that was wrong with this motherboard was a few bent uh, pins on both uh, these ICs the uh, 68000 and the uh, the ROM uh, and obviously uh, missing Agnes um, I have I mentioned another board in the beginning of this, and this was the second board that was sent to me. Um, but the other one is taking a bit longer to go through. So I think I'm going to release this video first. Um, because it was the easiest to fix, and that's the one that's going to be ready. But um, there you go, folks. Uh, this was a, a very, very easy, very simple fix on one of these. And I just wanted to make sure that this thing was all working. I'm not sure what happened with this board, uh, why it was discarded, but because... Uh, well, it was, you know, I, I got it as non-working. Um, obviously, this was uh, missing Agnes, but the, the rest of the ICs were fine. And it doesn't look like it was used as a pads board. Uh, you'll see with the other board I'm working on that it, it seems to have been the case. Uh, so I, I don't know what happened to this board. Like some, the, obviously, the bent legs on the 6800 were an issue, but this poor EEPROM was just facing the wrong way as well. Uh, so I'm not sure what work or... or, or who did what on this board but there wasn't much wrong with it after all see now that i'm looking here look at this somebody just uh savaged this poor socket and it looks like it looks like it, that's exactly what happened somebody tried to pry the socket off with this uh probably trying to remove agnes um what happens a lot in these uh in these boards you find a lot of spares uh, over on the internet but a lot of them would be missing Agnes because people will just salvage Agnes and, and sell it uh, sell it on eBay um, they go for you know quite a, a bit of money you'll find a lot of boards that have been stripped of all the custom but Agnes is usually the first one to go uh, but it looks like somebody I'm gonna switch this off before I start prying with it uh, but it looks like somebody try to pry this off like this is exactly what it looks like here here not sure what happened and who do that um but there you go anyway this is a, a very uh, simple and quick repair uh, i have another uh, board in fact i started with the uh, with this uh, other board and i thought i'd have that finished before i moved on to this one so i referenced another board um earlier on this is what this is about but this one will probably release uh before that uh, I, my goal with these two boards is actually I want to convert one to a, an actual machine because I want to put my original, uh, original Amiga 500, uh, keep it stock and put that in this box as a display item. So I want to have another machine uh, that I can use as a 500 and I want a spare board to experiment uh, with it. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. Uh, there's a, the, a Patreon and YouTube memberships if you want to support the channel. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.